Steve, this is what's known as the Grand Prairie Parkway Interchange. It's a diverging diamond interchange. And if you come with me, I'm going to show you exactly where Ben Berry made his fatal mistake that night. Now, instead of veering to the left lanes to head east on I-80, he actually stayed the course going down the right lanes, ultimately going the wrong way down I-80 at very high speeds. This point happening just eight tenths of a mile from the crash site. The crash investigation finding the interchange isn't to blame, citing it's marked with proper signage. What's different is, is that you cross over to the wrong way of travel and you feel like you're driving on the wrong side to get on. Barry failed to veer to the left side of the road, instead driving right, missing several do not enter signs. Drugs and alcohol, a factor in that deadly mistake. Toxicology reports showing a 0.223 blood alcohol level at impact. That is three times the legal limit. Um, it is more than your fine motor skills and your judgment. It is, it is everything. And then you throw in that speed. Barry reached speeds of 100 plus during his highly intoxicated wrong way drive. The investigation revealing neither car hit the brake before impact. The crash happened just beyond the crest of a small incline. Two seconds this way, two seconds that way. Probably could have seen it coming. Um, had they been able to react, you don't know. Four lives lost instantly. This is our new normal. Uh, things aren't ever going to be the way they used to be. While DMPD removed its black morning bands from badges yesterday, officers like Sergeant Paul Parizic continue to honor the fallen officers by wearing this memorial bracelet. I don't know if it's going to be 30 days or 30 years before we can say that we're okay. But right now, I mean, taking it day by day. And I did some digging tonight and found out there have been 99 lives lost so far on Iowa roadways this year. That's 19 more than this time last year. State Patrol investigators telling me tonight that drugs and alcohol use are a contributing factor to about 30% of all fatal crashes.